Well, hello, it's Jim and Ace, man. We're back into From Depth Adventure mode. This time we're gonna transform this bad boy, this seaplane, into some kind of boat. Um, I accidentally uh, deleted the hearthstone, died and failed a couple of times. So this time, uh, um, basically only my own error. I wasn't like killed, I just misplaced the wrong block and it's like, oh, everything disappeared and I like control Z and this log doesn't work in battle and I'm like, what battle? And uh, that happened. Yeah, so whatever. We're going to <clears throat> build this thing and I have cut off some different parts like the wings here in sections just to make sure that this thing uh, remains. Um, one error I did was that I didn't have storage. So now I have lots of storage on this main little uh, vehicle. Uh, and that will be able to make us pick up the materials. And we of course fixed the hearthstone, placed ourselves here building on the AI and fun stuff like that. So we can actually um, click play. I think there are some hakes that are terrorizing us still, but that happened, that happens. So basically I'm doing like this and I'm kind of using this as a big old knife and just cutting away some pieces and doing that will make it uh, hopefully sometime you can see, now we actually got the point where it cuts off very nice. In any case, um, we're going to pimp this thing a little bit, make it work. Oh, this is the last structure I started build on, that's failed. I build it offset, so now that I clicked uh, <clears throat> this thing, <clears throat> the center of uh, the vehicle is actually correct. That's pretty useful. I don't know what stats this have that I'm building so far. We use my old, uh, or not old, it's pretty new, but AI template. <clears throat> have some extra batteries, have some engines and fuel and stuff like that. And some a little decent area to have some like main things. We're gonna have backup engines here, as you can see. Uh, we're gonna have uh, material storage, repair bots, uh, ourselves. Uh, and uh, it's all gonna be surrounded in a box of heavy armor. We also have some surge protectors, probably need some more. Um, and other than that, what do we have? Electric engines, so we're gonna add a couple of them there. Oh, looks fine. In any case, that's what's happening. This is going away, this is coming in, and this little box, uh, it's wood, alloy and heavy armor and this is not gonna be main armor of any kind this is gonna be a secure little box in the ship we're building you can see we have the insane budget uh, of we have like 1 million materials like still or left we only spent 300 330 uh, K but this thing remains too uh, so we're cleaning that up in any case, a huge thanks to the commissioned officers in the army of Jimmerism who is making this uh, um, much easier for me to make videos more often. <clears throat> so Stellar Admiral LCG Canyon, Captain Scoobrooks, Commander Ejin, Lieutenant Asteria, powered by Greed, and Tyler Russ, who are the uh, top supporters there. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel, and if you also want to support the channel, check the links in the description. I'm kind of thinking we're gonna surround the sides a little bit on this thing with uh, stone. We're having an extra layer of metal uh, over that, of course. But I'm thinking the interior side armor for this thing will probably be just uh, two layers of stone. Then we have the uh, basically have some wood as a spore liner. If we meet some penetrators, we can take a lot there. And yeah, I think that's probably makes sense. Um, this ship is gonna be a circular, I believe. I think we're gonna go with a circular for this. So yeah, shall be quite interesting to see uh, wherever this thing goes. Okay, um, I think we are going to close this off from the sides with some more stone there and there. And of course, uh, I'm doing my regular armor scheme which uh, comes in different shapes or forms, but they all reside again uh, around the bulk. That's, uh, 
it's pretty reliable armor. Just add more bulk. Right, so we're getting some shapes here. What we can do to remove these untethered stuff is just click Ctrl X and delete all untethered decorations. There we go. So I deleted the uh, anchor and the thing that were above. And here we basically have the outline so far. I'm trying to bake, make this little wide um, hull that's gonna go under the water. This is gonna all be under the water hull. I'm thinking this is wide enough, but I'm not totally sure. We might need to widen it a little bit more later. But I think we have something decent to start with at least. So uh, we're gonna do a little prefab thing uh, and uh, expand onto this little design. Now it's kind of weird when we are under the world. We're not we're not under the weather, we're under the world, which is probably not somewhere we should be. But hey, we're not getting shot here so much, and that's nice. Anyways, I suspect we can kind of elongate it like this. Might need to remove some support struts later. Anyways. So I've spent a little too long time on this uh, thing, this ship here. You can see we've taken some fire, but it's a pretty large vessel. Oh my god, it's it's actually very large. It's very insane. Oh my god, a rose of repair, but we need to close. <sighs> we need to close off this section to make them not escape from here. Yeah. In any case, we have the game on slow speed, of course. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have outlined the interior, so we have basically added a wooden spore liner. Um, I'm not sure this will be able to make us float, but uh, we have a series uh, of large pistons here to make us go forward and turn a little bit, so we have some propulsion. We have, of course, have huge amounts of large space uh, just to put big turrets. This has a length of uh, 445, so we can we can make a pretty big, big ship here, yeah. Uh, this is the little AI compartment you saw before. Um, I'm thinking we can actually set that up and close it off. One thing we definitely need to have is we need to have some turrets. Uh, and I don't know exactly what type of turrets we should have on this thing. Um, but either no, uh, we're going to do with the old shatter. I think we're actually going with the uh, we're going with the bang bang T17 500 millimeter hash cannon. So this design is uh, quite powerful, but it's also quite volatile. So like this thing may blow up. It also has a super short <laughs> barrel, which uh, it looks hilarious. But we should probably uh, we should probably elongate that a tiny little bit muzzle break yeah i don't think we need that muzzle break let's just whoops stick a heavy barrel onto there and a piece of a let's see here there we go piece of a normal barrel as well because we need this accuracy. We of course need, we need so many ammo barrels as well. I'm wondering like, is this, oh, we have a incoming swarm of crime cannons. This is what hurt us a little bit before. We haven't looked at this at all. Oh man, it looks really cool. But we of course need to take this little sky dwarf fortress out very much, yes. 
Oh, cool. Small rocket in small tubes. Looks exactly like... Um, like rocket tubes. Wow, that's a cool mimic design. Wow, and it's like rounded corners. Why? Okay. That's just mimics. Well, we're safe inside, and <clears throat> inside of here. Um, I guess we should set up the AI routine and close off this enclosement. Alright, so we placed down some basic guns here. Uh, we have my little light version of the Octodad, the um, eight-armed diff gun. <laughs> now we're underwater, so it's not uh, optimal here. Uh, we add a little temporary air pump here to get us uh, up, up, up and up. Is this kind of locked here? What's happening? No, no, we accidentally got... All right. Yeah, this is a little bit weird. Okay. This roll, maybe we need to remove. The, yeah, okay. That was blocking it. Makes sense. So, uh, this thing is still pestering us very much. I'm thinking I should get the hand of those weapons here. And uh, aim manually because I know that the uh, Vigoletta Marksman is a pretty accurate little gun. Oh man, this brass. Now this looks like bronze. This color scheme on these just work, man. So this is of course a finished vessel and that's... Uh, that's not something we can say for our build. It's spamming cram at us, however, so we should be... Uh, whew, man. We're still underwater. We should actually be watching so we are not... ...getting locked. Shooting on our own stuff, that would be quite bad. Man, come on, I just want to just want to take this thing out a little bit right, we can't even see it from there 99% or you kidding me yep this is a good flyer it is we'll need all sorts of protection too so we're playing this in slow motion by the way we can actually probably speed it up to full full speed so we can kind of see we're shooting fairly quickly uh oh now we should probably now we should be locked up again okay can fire i wonder if this this hash gun it's getting braked down by the war it's very small shells too i don't think we can deal with that too easily Ooh, add more ammo barrels too. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely lagging a little bit, but we're digging in here. So looks like the uh, the concept will work, however. Come on. I wonder if there is a specific thing we should target. We don't really know where anything important might be. There we have some jets though. Come on. Still to the side. Yeah, there we have so many anti-missile missiles, okay. This is more like of a hovercraft than a Oh, look there. Here we have some heavy armor. There we go. It's starting to tilt. There we have the uh, jet engines. Entire, I see the AI there. C 
come on now. Come on now. There it like it's seriously there. Come on now. Oh was that the AI? No? Not quite. Ooh. We got some EMP mixed in there now. This thing seems to be pretty sad now. Ooh. 500 millimeter. <laughs> Hash thing is popping in some damage too. There we go. Finally. So little materials. Whoa, it's 80. Are you kidding me? Okay, we don't have any detection really. So I guess we need to manually shoot these guns a little bit longer. If we shoot a little higher up, maybe we can get uh, insane. <laughs> yeah, this death gun doesn't, it's like a very small shell to be able to fire at this speed. Come on, I'll swarm a little bit there. With some shots. There we go. We are at an altitude of. Oh, we're, we're actually sinking. We're full health though, so. There is nothing to blame. Ah. Feels good eating through stuff there. Low health. There we go. Beautiful. You can stop shooting. Come on. It is now gone. How nice. We're in the war, however, which isn't optimal. We have loads of engine power, so what we can do, we're pretty straight here. They're set up with automatic control, by the way, and that sometimes works, especially for larger designs. We should probably just go into main and select it to adjust, no, maneuver, allow hover. Behaviors, let's see here. Adjustments, well, I don't know. Let's just set this to like one and five. All right then. Now we'll go up from the water there. So powered exit is of course not optimal in any way but this is adventure mood and I'm trying to learn myself to just get into it a little bit more quickly so we're gonna add some temporary propellers here temporary TM and we'll just get some upward thrust from this and hopefully it will be able, uh, we will be able to surface using these. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this beautiful ship we are surfacing. I think that this is uh, something that's uh, new. Maybe this is something that's uh, worth liking the video for. This beauty, <laughs> this magnificent uh, husk of a ship surfacing. Oh lords, will it be worth it? Oh my god, it's so large. We have the bulk and man, it's so unfinished. It's just a hollow thing. Um, but hey, I think this should be pretty decent as a starting thing. We have 500k materials left. Uh, we should be installing a pretty big, a pretty huge laser system. I am very 
Um, I'm very hyped for installing a little laser system. Uh, we're gonna add some armor around the turrets. We're gonna do loads of stuff. But at least we are now actually uh, a proper surface ship. Yeah. Something like that. Hope you enjoyed this little video because we're gonna close off here now. Uh, we're gonna continue next time continuing to build this ship, but at least we got it to surface. But man, it takes time building a big ship like this. It takes an insane amount of time. I've been up basically entire night to finish this thing uh, off to my liking. Um, maybe when we are uh, done surviving uh, for a long time, this might actually be a very formidable ship. In any case, do stay tuned to the channel, check out my Twitch live if you want to get some updates on when the new videos come out. Uh, Twitter is probably the best uh, site to uh, get those notifications from my channels, pretty easy. And of course, if you want to support the channel, uh, check gmodism.com support in the description and you can see the different options you can support the channel. In any case, thanks for going. Thanks again to the commissioned officers in the army of Jim Edison, and I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Edison, and we're signing out from Adventure Mode. <laughs>